This is the Fintorn Foundation Eco Village, near Inverness in Scotland. Founded in 1970, the community is highly committed to more ecological ways of life. A big part of our philosophy is that we want to, as we say, live lightly on the planet. Uh, for many hundreds, thousands of years, mankind has been abusing the planet and utilising resources, using more than he puts back. In a practical way, we're trying to replace um, what was a caravan park with an ecologically sound uh, houses, energy systems, uh, water treatment systems and so on and try to demonstrate how we can actually live sustainably on the planet. The buildings are constructed as far as possible from sustainable and ethically sourced materials. Using materials that are renewable in the world so we don't use hardwoods and we try to get materials from sources which aren't abusive in the way they're produced. For example we buy steel from certain countries where we know they, the process is, is kind to the environment. The houses are designed to very high standards, even though many of them are self-built or self-finished constructions. If their plans and their architectural stuff get through the PPG, our own planning group, it'll easily get through the local authorities because we have much higher standards of, of insulation and breathing wall technology we use, which is spreading around the world. Breathing walls allow air to circulate more quickly, producing healthier houses. Triple glazing and super efficient insulation minimise heat losses. Low energy lamps and shared laundry and cooking facilities help reduce energy demand. The community's energy needs are met by a mixture of renewable and fossil fuels. A highly efficient gas fired condensing boiler supplies heat to many of the buildings in the community. The site also has its own 75 kilowatt wind turbine. Well, currently this machine's been up and operating for um, almost 13 years and it's doing about 20% of our electrical uh, needs, which is about 8 to 9% of the total energy requirement for the village. Um, we're hoping to replace it with a larger machine within the next year. The planned 850 kilowatt machine will supply up to 80% of their total energy needs. The community uses innovative and environmentally friendly technology to deal with an inevitable byproduct of any community, waste water. It's a living machine sewage treatment plant. As the water passes through the system of tanks, plants and bacteria use contaminants in the water as nutrients, producing water that's good enough to be used for irrigation, but not as yet for drinking. It's doing a natural process, very naturally. Um, it's producing water at the end of it and it's it's allowing the plants to grow, the plants naturally uh, take the carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere uh, like a forest does, so you've got a tremendous cycle happening here which is really good for the environment, in fact it's a win-win-win-win situation. It's new technology, I mean it's breaking new ground and, and we've been partially financed by the European Economic Com Community because they want to see what, how it works, because they're obviously looking for ways that they can economically produce ecological ways of dealing with things like sewage, water supplies and so on. But there's more to the community than sustainable buildings and earth-friendly technology. If you want to live lightly on the planet and be kind to the environment, that, that comes at a price. So some of these houses aren't particularly cheap. They're not grand mansions, but we have to pay for the, the type of stuff that we use. And it's not only about building, it's about living in a way that is cooperative. We want to include the other aspects of sustainability which are quite important. That's economic sustainability, it's social and cultural sustainability and also what we call spiritual sustainability. Community participation and involvement are an integral part of the project. The people that are moving here um, are people that are interested in being part of this experiment. You know, can we demonstrate how to live sustainably? Can we have a community that's benign and, and still life enhancing and, and, and fulfilling to be here? So that's the kind of people that are being attracted, both in the local area and also nationally and, and internationally. We get a few people from Europe and, and the States coming over as well.